so I, I recently moved out here from New Mexico. I lived in New Mexico for, oh gosh, 30 years. And this is a very different terrain than, than New Mexico. But as I've been here since the fall, I found it was akin to where I grew up, which was the Ozarks, uh, which is the woods and the, the foliage and streams and, and water. And while I miss the, the big open sky, I love, I don't know, the closeness and the smell of the, the soil. And as I thought about this theme, I was reminded of a, of a time in my life that was actually rather hard. Um, when I was uh, 13, I had a brother that was uh, killed by a drunk driver, and I didn't know what to do with myself. And um, I joined a Boy Scout troop. And I, I fortunately, I joined a great Boy Scout troop, and we would go out and we'd go camping all the time, like three, three times a month. I mean, I'm not kidding. It was just all the time. And bit by bit by bit by bit, I became involved in that. And if you know anything about scouting, it's all about merit badges and ranks. And when I was uh, 17, a friend of mine said, you know, Tom, um, in, in a couple months, you're going to be too old to get your Eagle Scout Award. How about we dig in and get it done? So I like, yeah, that's, that sounds that sounds good. Um, and uh, so I uh, began working on merit badges. And my last merit badge was a merit badge called orienteering. I don't know if you if that means anything to you. Orienteering is where you learn how to use a compass. And uh, the merit badge is where they basically you get a map and a compass and you have to get from here to there. And um, so I, I went out to, to do this. And my, my friend Dennis, who was the guy who was egging me on, he was doing it also. And uh, we went out in, in the woods. Uh, imagine going out into the woods you know. You, re you really can't see like I can see in New Mexico. In New Mexico, I can see, you know, 50 miles. But there it's uh, a hill, a creek, uh, uh, a rock formation, and I had a map. So I began working with my, my compass, trying to navigate, take my sights, take everything I had learned from that, and, and, and find my way. I worked and I worked. And the further I worked, the further I worked, the harder it got and the more confused I, I became. At this point in my life, I was um, pretty much a wreck. The reason I was in Scouts was because um, it was the only time my parents let me out of the house. Um, and my dad was a, a minister. And uh, so I would just, you know, and Dennis would pick me up and we'd get stoned and we'd head off to Scout meeting and off we'd go and we'd go on to this. But it seemed that this somehow was important. Um, so anyway, I was, I was walking along and, and doing this, and I probably was stoned. And I got totally lost. I had no idea where I was. And I was scared shitless. Um, I, I, I knew I could figure out, I, I, I could find a road, I could walk it back, I could get there, but I was not gonna get this merit badge. And I had this compass, and I got so pissed off, and I just said, God damn it, I threw this thing into the woods. And from behind me, this voice came and said, y y you might want to go pick that up, Tom. You're going to need it. One of the uh, 
scoutmasters had been shadowing me. And, um, and he said, go, go pick it up. Use it. So I did. And I began taking sights. And I began looking at the map. And I began walking and finding my way. And in the end, I got back where I needed to be. And as I think about this story idea of lost and found, to me, it just resonates with how life is. We get lost, but we have the tools. And sometimes people come in and they say, you got it, pick it up and work with it. And in the end, I did, and I got the merit badge, I became an Eagle Scout, and life has gone on, not necessarily glorious, but nonetheless real. Thank you.